Hey happy homemakers, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an ultimate clean and disinfect with me after having what we believe was the coronavirus. The good news is that we're all doing better. It was a bad flu, but nothing that we couldn't handle and medicate at home. If you guys are curious about the symptoms that my family and I had, I just posted a vlog Monday going into detail about that. But now that we are better, we're still trying to take every precaution to make sure that we are not spreading the virus and protecting the elderly and immune compromised in our community. I'm gonna go through my whole house top to bottom disinfecting everything and while I feel the seriousness of the situation and I'm doing I'm trying to do my part to flatten the curve we do not have to be fearful of this the Lord has this in his hands my hopes by sharing the story that I'm pretty sure we did have the coronavirus is meant to encourage you guys even though we aren't in control of the situation we are in control of how we react to it when we can either spread encouragement and positivity and ways that we can do our part whether you have had the flu or not I think the number one way to fight it is by staying in our home and only going out when we have to and keeping our environment as clean and sanitary as possible. Today's video is also a collaboration with my friend Hannah from the YouTube channel Hannah's Happy Home. She's such a sweet Christian mama and her content is very similar to mine. She does a lot of cleaning motivation and they are currently renovating their new house and I think you guys would really love her. So after you finish watching this video, make sure you head over to her channel and watch her cleaning video and that I'll have linked down below and let her know that I sent you. Before I tackle any huge cleaning job, I like to have a lineup of all the cleaning products that I will need to be using. That way I don't have to hunt for them when I'm in a cleaning mood. I will also be using some Lysol in this video. I just forgot to pull it out of the cupboard. The first thing I'm going to do is throw in a load of laundry because this is something I can keep going throughout the cleaning process. I'm just going to go to the kids room which is probably where the most germs are and grab all of their bedding, their pillowcases, um, all the clothes that they wore whether dirty or not, just whatever they wore while they were sick um, and then also like the changing pad cover, anything that can be thrown into the washing machine. I also grabbed all of their stuffed animals and plush toys to be cleaned as well. Also if you are new here because Hannah sent you I just wanted to say hello and welcome my name is Justine and on my channel I'm all about joyful motherhood and natural living and an orderly and peaceful home and I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family so please make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below as well as giving this video a like and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you came from her channel and where you are watching from because I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit better and to everyone else thank you so much for coming back would you please take a second and make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know how things are going for you guys if there's any way I can pray for you or what things are like in the state you're in because right now we are in lockdown in Oregon and a I'm not gonna lie it has been a little bit difficult but at the same time I'm filled with so much hope because I know that God is not surprised by any of this After that, I just went through their room gathering all of their toys that they played with while they were sick, which was pretty much all of them that were in their bedroom, um, and then just put them in a bin to go and wash them later. Once I started in on the toys is when I realized how big of the job this was really going to be and that it wasn't something that I would get through in one day. And it can get overwhelming when you think that you have so much to clean and disinfect, but I will have a free PDF checklist down below in the description box listing every job in an order that makes the most sense to do it. So hopefully having that will help you to not feel too overwhelmed. If you guys have been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I am always trying to do things the natural way. Unfortunately, according to the research I've done, not all natural cleaners will actually kill the coronavirus. So you have to be really careful when you know which one you're using. I'll link a list down below that will work. So in this video, I will be using some chemicals, um, but I wanna make sure that they are effective and I'll show you ways that I'm trying to make sure that they are safe for my kids. After that, I went and started the first load of laundry. And to wash each load of laundry, I'm just going to use my regular laundry detergent, but also add in some color safe bleach. Unfortunately, color safe bleach is not going to disinfect like regular bleaches. So the best way to wash the clothes and stuffed animals and bedding is to turn the water to the hottest setting. The next job I'm going to do is clean and disinfect all of the toys, which like I said, this is a huge job. I'm going to do this two ways. 
The first way I'm going to disinfect is by using alcohol. This is a great way because it's a little bit safer than using bleach, but you have to make sure that you're using at least 60% alcohol and not diluting it too much. Um, this is also great because it's not going to discolor any fabrics or anything like that. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit of water to my alcohol and put it in a glass spray bottle. The next way I'm going to clean all of their toys and their mattresses is with these Clorox bleach wipes. This is one of the cleaners that is guaranteed to kill the virus. Um, so I'm just going to take these wipes and wipe down all of their main toys, anything that can't be washed any other way. Also their mattresses, the, all the furniture in their room, um, basically anything that can't get wet. After a while, I realized I should be wearing gloves to protect my hands um, because this is a harsh chemical. So just make sure you have a few disposable gloves on hand as well. Also, I wasn't able to go to the store and get um, any cleaners for this video. This is all stuff that I had on hand. Um, so I'm hoping that that is a good thing and it helps you guys to stay home and use what you have and not have to spend a ton of money on this. Um, let me know down in the comments if you do find that helpful. I'd love to know. So anyways, I just kept wiping down all of their toys and things. They were actually with their daddy at this time if you are wondering. And it takes a while but you can listen to a podcast while doing this or make a phone call to a loved one. Just redeem the time so it's not super boring work. For anything that is plush or like the little bristles on this mop and broom, I just used my alcohol spray. I felt a lot safer using this than like some Lysol or anything like that, but there are upholstery cleaners that you can get at the store that will be safe um, for colored fabrics. So that is an option as well, but like I said, I just wanted to use cleaners that I had and just be as safe as possible. After that, I just took another Clorox rag and wiped down all the books. I'm very thankful that my children are older and they don't put these things in their mouth anymore, but if I had a little baby, I would probably recommend taking um, a rag and just wiping everything off with just water to rinse off the chemicals after you're done. wipe down their dresser, the hardware areas, and the clock, things that, that we would have touched. And then for anything else, like their little laundry basket, I just sprayed it all with some of the alcohol. After that, I'm just going to vacuum the rug first. You do need to clean any dirty areas first so that things will be properly disinfected. <clears throat> so I do recommend vacuuming any rugs first. After that, I just grabbed my alcohol spray and just sprayed all over the rug. Um, this is nice because the smell does evaporate quickly. And by the way, just to give you peace of mind, you don't have to worry very much about upholstered items because they're very porous and bacteria and viruses can't actually live on them for very long, so they're just going to die on their own. After that, I just switched the load of laundry to keep that going. The next thing I'm going to do is head to my room and take the pillowcases off of our pillows because that is where our face is all the time. Um, and then I also went into our bathroom and got all the bath towels we would have used at the time to add that to our pile of laundry. 
Next, I'm just going to continue on washing all of the toys. Some plastics can be just tossed into the dishwasher um, and washed on the highest setting to disinfect. If you guys have a sanitized setting, that's even better. Um, but just make sure that you put only plastics that would be safe in there, um, no woods, nothing that water can seep into, um, just metal toys, plastic toys, things that don't have too much paint or stickers that can get ruined. The rest of the toys I just piled back into the basket. These are ones that I'm actually going to have to wash by hand with a Clorox wipe, which is still gonna be a lot and take a lot of time. Another way I'm going to disinfect the toys is in the bathtub. So I took an empty milk bottle and cut off the top to use a measuring cup for the water because I'm going to be washing it with some bleach. Um, you have to make sure that you have regular bleach so that this will be effective to disinfect. Normally I would use vinegar to do this, but like I said, this time I'm trying to kill a virus and make sure that it doesn't spread to my family. So I'm going to be using bleach um, and I'm just going to rinse the toys off very, very, very well so that nothing gets stained and there's no harmful chemicals left on the children's toys. So you're just going to want to use a ratio of half a cup of bleach to every gallon of water and you're going to want to be very careful, wear gloves to protect your hands, be very careful with the bleach, make sure you wear old clothes that won't get ruined, be careful where your uh, shower curtain is and make sure all the toys you're putting in there will not be harmed by the bleach, nothing with any painting or writing. We just did Legos because there were so many of those, there's no way I was going to be wiping off every single Lego. As I was filling up the tub, I was just breaking up all the Legos with my gloved hand because I didn't want any of them to be stuck together so they would be properly disinfected. After 15 minutes, you're going to want to swish everything around just to make sure the bleach gets all over. Like I said, be very careful not to splash this so you don't ruin anything. Um, and then 15 minutes after that, you can go ahead and drain the tub rinse everything thoroughly several times to make sure the bleach is completely gone and then let the toys dry in the tub overnight. To disinfect all of the miniature Legos, I just put all of them in a mesh bag that I used for my laundry um, so that they wouldn't be all over the place mixed up with the big Legos, which worked really well. Another option would be to put any Legos in a mesh bag and put them in the washing machine like a bleach load of laundry just to give you a couple extra ways to wash Legos. The next thing I'm gonna do is clean and disinfect the upholstered furniture. First, I'm going to vacuum everything off of the couches because like I said, you want to clean first to be able to properly disinfect afterwards. So I just grabbed my handheld vacuum and vacuumed the sofas and the pillows and the love seat. I took the throw off the couch and threw that in the laundry as well.
After that, I just took my alcohol spray and just sprayed down the couches. And you want to make sure that you are encompassing the pillows in the mist to make sure that it, dis it disinfects really well. Like I said, you can find a color safe upholstery disinfectants at the store. So just consult the list that I linked down below. Once again, do what you can, but don't stress the upholstered furniture because the virus is not going to survive for very long on it. The last thing I did was take a Clorox wipe and disinfect all of the knickknacks on my coffee table. The next thing we are going to clean and disinfect are all is all the hardware in our house. So any doorknobs, faucets, light switches, everything. I'm just gonna make sure I'm wearing my gloves. I've and I've been periodically switching these out for clean gloves. After that, I just headed the kitchen to continue disinfecting the hardware in there and anywhere that we would have touched drawers or cupboards um, and anything like that. I also disinfected the handles on the dishwasher, the stove, and the refrigerator as well. Periodically, I changed out my wipe just to make sure it would disinfect everything properly. next area I was going to disinfect are the books in the living room. I had forgotten about them earlier. I just wiped everything with the Clorox wipes and let them dry on the carpet because on the back of these it says you do need to let everything air dry for four minutes to properly disinfect. After everything was out of the shelves, I wiped down the inside and outside of the shelf as well. Um, quick tip, you also want to make sure that you're reading the labels on all of your cleaners because they are all different. For example, these Clorox wipes need to dry for four minutes before you wipe anything off and every single disinfecting process is going to be a little different. After that, I just continued disinfecting the toys with the wipes. All of the toys that were either made of plastic that couldn't fit into the dishwasher and ones that were made of paper or plush or had stickers or any toys with batteries that would be ruined when submerged in water and anything wood as well. This part took a very long time so we just had a little movie playing while mommy disinfected all the toys. And you do want to make sure that you're grabbing a new Clorox wipe every now and then.
the last things you want to do is clean and disinfect all of the floors so I'm going to sweep first to make sure that any debris that will get in the way of disinfecting is gone <laughs> I'm going to be using some Lysol. You guys can definitely fill up a mop bucket and mop this way. If you guys have been catching my last videos, I don't have like a mop and bucket right now. So I'm going to be putting some Lysol in a spray bottle and spraying it on the floor, which is work going to work just as well. Um, make sure you read directions of the label on the back to make sure that you're getting the ratio right so that it will disinfect. And then I just took my Swiffer and spreading the Lysol around. to make sure that I disinfected my brooms so I just took a paper towel to clean it a little bit and then um, sprayed it down with some of the Lysol spray <laughs> Next, I'm going to clean and disinfect all electronics. These are handled so much when we're sick, so you want to make sure they're not harboring any bacteria. First, I cleaned my, la my laptop with a Clorox wipe, and then to get into between the keys, I just got a Q-tip a little bit damp and then just rubbed it all around and through every key in the keyboard. And after a few minutes, I just dried off my laptop with a microfiber cloth. Next, I disinfected all of our keys, although I didn't go anywhere while I was sick, but I just wanted to make sure that they didn't have any viruses on them. And then I did my remote controls, my phone, and my mouse. Another area that gets a lot of traffic when you're sick is the bathroom, so I'm going to pay really close attention to disinfecting the toilet and the sink area. I'm going to put some cleaner in the toilet bowl and let that soak for the proper amount of time. And then I'm going to take out the trash, which is another area that bacteria likes to grow. I'm also going to take my Lysol spray and just spray down the garbage inside and out to make sure all the viruses are dead. Even though I don't normally put a bag in that trash, I'm just going to do that as an extra precaution to keep keep germs from spreading. After that, I'm just going to wipe down my toilet with a Lysol wipe so that I can throw it away and then I'm going to clean out the toilet bowl. After that, I'm just going to take off my gloves, making sure not to touch anything that would have touched germs, and then throw them away. The last thing I want to do is to clean and purify the air. Things get really stuffy when you're cooped up at home, so what I wanted to do was light some candles. And also I went around the entire house opening up every single window and just letting all of the fresh air in. Even if it's too cold where you are to leave this open for more than a few minutes, just do it because it will really make a difference. 
lucky for me, it was a really nice day, so I also opened the back door and closed the screen. Another way I like to purify the air is with essential oils, and today I'm going to be using some that are cleansing and kill bacteria. A couple of really good ones that kill bacteria are tea tree, peppermint, lavender, clove, cinnamon, and rosemary. What I did was a combination of four drops of lemon essential oil and then three each of peppermint and tea tree and it smelled so clean and fresh and bright <laughs> the last thing i'm going to do which is something that i nearly forgot is to empty the laundry hamper in my bathroom and then just spray it down with my alcohol spray and with the lysol spray i just mopped the bathroom floor anyways that's the end of this video i really hope you guys got some good inspiration and then it put your mind at ease as far as disinfecting after sickness goes. Um, I don't think we have to do this with every sickness, but for something like the flu, it is important to make sure that our homes are clean and sanitary. Don't forget to check out Hannah's video. I will have it linked down below. I really think you guys will love her. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all staying safe and well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.